I don't think there was ever a moment when we're like, hey, we have this skill to make pants, maybe we should do it for somebody else. This is also a business that neither of us had any sort of formal training in whatsoever. It's like most people are like, oh, did you go to fashion school or design school? It's like, no, man, we just bought a sewing machine and just went for it. <laughs> My name is Dave Stampler. My name is Michael Stampler. Our company is Norman Porter. We've been in operation for about four years now, making men's pants. Started making jeans about eight years ago for myself. Uh, I'm 6'5", 36 inch inseam, pretty hard to find pants. So I uh, originally made a few pairs for myself. So I knew that Mike was an excellent sewer and uh, I thought it was a great idea that we could just start our own company as opposed to just doing it for a hobby. At the time, it didn't seem like there was like a large supply of American-made brands left. So it was kind of important to us to, to produce something here and to do it under our, our own supervision. Most things are items that we make for ourselves or feel like there might be a need for. A lot of the do-it-ourselves attitude, like our father restored our entire house by himself. So we'd always work on our own cars, like we never went to a mechanic our entire lives. We always had the sense of completing things ourselves and we wanted to just parlay that into how we make a living too. I think all that combined kind of what makes Norm Porter what it is. You don't have too much room in a pair of pants to, to make it your own. If you're trying to keep it simple and keep it classy, you've got a few places where you can make details. So to us, those details really matter and that a lot of it comes down to the material selection. We obviously try to use the best materials we can down to the simplest thing like what thread we use. I guess you could say I'm a bit neurotic and, and I focus on the details, so I do enjoy the repetition of the job. I enjoy the slow honing of, of, of my stitch work and, and there's a million times where I wanted to throw the sewing machine out the window, but it's kind of like meditating. I think my favorite part is, is when I finally button them up and finish them and fold them up and you look at them and everything's right where it should be. For now, we kind of just make things that we like and uh, it just kind of happens to work out too that people are into it. And it's really strong in Iceland. It's like a lot of influence from Atlanta and New York and American hip hop. Sturla Atlas, I think it's this big one. Reykjavik, they're like 20 girls rapping in Icelandic. Gisle Palme.